<laughs> I am here with Mark Ruffalo and Robert Downey Jr. of Avengers Age of Ultron. Superheroes both. How is it going, guys? Can't believe your luck. Fantastic. I, I can't believe my luck either. I We're feel glad to be here. here. This is kind of cool, and it's presented by Bose. It's presented by Bose. Will Bose be, be appearing in Avengers Age of Ultron? Can you can you confirm or deny that? Can you? Oh. Now, guys, I, I, I don't want to force you to reveal anything about Avengers Age of sure Ultron. Sure you don't. It's, it's, it's very top secret. But, yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Last time well, we what saw, can we tell you? Last time we saw you two, you, you were together on screen, post credit scene of, of, of Iron Man 3. Yes, we did, Love, we did what that. Little moments. It's fair to say, it seems to me, like uh, Hulk and Iron Man, they're, they're, are, they, are, are, are they extra special? friends, even on top of being teammates together? Well, you got to figure uh, they do drive off into the uh, Central Park sunset together. It was it was lovely, by the way. Yep. Yeah. That was the most romantic note. And, uh, and, and, <laughs> and Stark, we're throwing out friends here. Yeah. Yeah. Stark has <laughs> set Banner up to be able to continue uh, his his good works in, in Stark Tower. Uh, Tony has a project of his own, so it's one of those things. You're like it's like a development team. Hey, how's it going over there? That looks really nice and green. Can I talk to you about this other idea I have? And it winds up not being such a good idea. Now, does that project rhyme with uh, Foltron? By any chance? Yeah, that's the that's the big idea, and it's and definitely not Doltron. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's yeah, that'll yeah, be the yeah, tagline. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and Bruce is dubious as to the uh, moral psychology of this this project uh, idea of Tony's, and it's nice yeah. because it sets up a little bit of um, tension. Us. A little bit of tension. That, okay. that, that pays off. So right. we can confirm that in Avengers there was there's some serious inter-character tension happening between Bruce yeah. Banner and Tony Stark. There is. Yeah. Uh, yes, it, it sort of blows up. Um, <laughs> now, uh, Mark Ruffalo, of course, uh, you know you first played the Hulk in, in the first Avengers. I, I, I remember before, and you talked a lot about Bill Bixby and kind of what you wanted to bring to the material. Um, you know, where is where is Bruce Banner at in, in this film? It sort of feels like in Avengers One he kind of got control of himself in some way, or or that he got control by losing control. If you will, I so what's? I think he feels like he's a, a part of the family. I, I think that Tony uh, has made it really comfortable for him. We're, we're flatmates now. Oh, um, how cool! That's yeah. very cool. Where are you guys living? Where are you guys living? In New York. In New York. <laughs> In our, which 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 neighborhood? Though? Where, it, where I think it's its own borough. <laughs> <laughs> It's Stark a small <laughs> island, an appendage of New York. Stark called. Island. Stark yes, yes, Island. Yes, yes. Called, <laughs> it's called Stark City. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but he—I think he's—he's—he feels like he's part of the team for the for for the first time. That's and nice. Starting That's to nice. relax, and and, then, and, and, and things will be easy, easy peasy from from, from yeah, here on out. Yeah, it doesn't always go the way he plans, though. I think. Well, if you remember, I mean, you know, the whole point of the first Avengers was can these folks work together to do something very difficult and very important. And this time we're kind of assuming that they can, and so how do you further complicate it? I, I think that's what Joss has done a great job with, and I think by the time we show uh, some footage, Mark's seen it, I haven't, but I was there. You haven't seen any, any footage yet? I lived it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's I think it's going to be, I think it's really, really going to be a great follow-up to Well, it. now, you know, I, I do want to ask, uh, I do want to ask, you know, uh, Robert Downey Jr., Tony Stark, here's a character you, you, you've, you've been playing for a while. Yeah. We, we, we've seen him go through a lot of things at this point. I, right. I, 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 I like in Iron Man 3, he was PTSDing. Where is he at when, uh, when Avengers Age of Ultron begins? Uh, he, he's just trying to, to make it so that, that the world doesn't have to count on these uh, flawed people. So he actually has a, a really good idea. It just winds up being kind of uh, co-opted. I see. And I guess his science, science goes wrong, basically. Yeah, is, is I love that saying. stuff. <laughs> and then I guess personally his next phase uh, must be male menopause. <laughs> Manopause. Manopause. Uh, now, uh, last minutes? question. Uh, you know, no, no spoilers <laughs> here. No spoilers here. But what happens in the post credit scene of Avengers 2? Right. Well, the only way to top shawarma is a uh, Carmen Gia. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody in the audience gets a bit of a Yeah, so we, all have, we give away Carmen Gia. So Marvel has decided to do a little a little thing with Carmen Gia. They're going to revive the great. brand. So that, 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 that's so, what a what a lovely. It's desperate though. So, you know, this could be the end of the Avengers. <laughs> I'm, Carmen I'm Gia. I'm telling Carmen you, Carmen Gia will be the worst villain they'll ever yeah. face. Well, Josh, Josh says the only way to top uh, shawarma is to do nothing. <laughs> well, there we go. So maybe you'll just be like hanging out, hanging out on, on screen for but a few minutes. But there'll be something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mark Ruffalo, Robert Downey Jr., thank you guys so much Great for being here. My Avengers pleasure. 2 coming out next summer. And stick around for more here at the EW Hideout, sponsored by Bose and at Comic-Con 2014. Come back for your Carmen Gia. We're giving a <laughs> Carmen Gia giveaway. Yeah. <laughs>